guys, Crocker13 here, and today we are actually learning, um, for those of you that don't know, how to install mods on a Mac, like I have. So, I actually, it took me a while to learn this because there aren't many ones for Mac, and they're mostly for Windows, so it took me a while to find how to do it for Mac. So, I guess I'll show you those of you out there um, who play Minecraft with Macs. So this is mods for Minecraft, just taking a note. Um, I'm just going to quit this for a sec. Um, okay, so first what you'll need to do is go to Minecraft Forge. Now don't go to MinecraftForge.net, you go to just Minecraft Forge. Darn. No .net. Stop. There. Now... You're going to want to go to files.minecraftforge.net. I will actually leave a link to it in the description of this video. So you want to go here, and then you choose a version that you want it for. So I'm going to do eh, 1.9. So now I, you see it's a bit darker, so I have it selected. And this is for Windows. You don't want to do this if you're on Mac. You can go here to get mods for Windows too, but I don't know the rest. You want to you're gonna want to click installer. Now you'll not gonna want to do this, it's gonna be an advertisement. You're gonna want to click skip and you will have it downloaded right here. So now you're gonna wanna double click on this and then it will give you a warning because it's from the internet and then you're gonna click open Later. and then you have to have Java for this which you can install from java.com uh, you might already have it a lot of people do okay so now you're going to want to click install client okay so it's downloading and it's taking a minute. Okay, there we go. Successfully installed into Launcher. So, now, you're going to want to go to Launcher. And it's loading. And you can switch in between... Uh, see, I already have Forge for a different version. You can switch in between versions of mod launchers by going to Launch Options and clicking Edit. And see, they'll have the Release version and then the Forge version. Wait, no, this is Optifine. Oops. That's not Forge. This is Forge. Okay, so you're going to want to select a Forge option. See, I have 1.9 Forge here, which I just installed. I'm going to switch to that, save, and you're going to want to um, actually open this before you put any mods in, but I'll get to that in a minute. So then, you're going to want to go to a s site where you can get mods. Like Minecraft 9, for example. Or 9 Minecraft, <laughs> oops. But you can get mods here, and you're going to want to specify for your version. And I did 1.9, so... Okay. Now it should be in 1.9 mods. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is go into Finder, and then click Command-Shift-G. And then you're going to type in Users slash Mac User, or the name you use for your account on your Mac and then slash library slash application space support slash Minecraft also caps do matter and then you click go and then you will have this mods folder which you will drag the mod into okay so now that you've downloaded it you're gonna want to go to the Minecraft launcher and to change into what you'll go here into edit of forge and then you will go to the mod thing you installed. And then 
you're gonna want to open it once before you actually um, put the mod in a special folder that uh, you will get to um, yeah so I'll just open that up and be right back okay so I have dragged the mod into this folder and now Minecraft is loading okay so you're going to want to check here in mods and see yes okay there's a mod right here if there's an option to configure click that wait never mind I don't want to mess with that okay so you're gonna want to open a single player world and yeah this was a fail but you're going to want to open a world that you don't care about because it will mess it up okay so it's loading the world. okay guys so we're back and this is our world now there should be an addition somewhere in here there's usually a scroll bar but um no uh, let's see mod options Wait. Oh, so you have to kill things, duh. Actually, that makes sense. Okay, so let me just get a diamond, a sword. Must be a sheep. Oh. So now I have this morph acquired, and I'm not sure how to acquire it. How how do uh, do I click like M? Wait, let's go to controls. Sometimes they have extra controls added into controls. Aha! Here we go. The morph next morph open survival morph menu okay n okay let's try n ah here we go now you click morph and i am a sheep <laughs> just croak up 13 the sheep and i think with this mod you probably is don't care because you're not going to get this for 1.9.4. Um, you can actually um, get special abilities with certain mobs like hostile. Give me this bunny. And you have to go through. Okay. Now you click N and I will. Now I'm a little bunny. Oh, I, I think I go, oh yeah, you go extra fast, and I think jump a little higher as a bunny, so that's cool. Yeah, and now I want to just try out some of the really big ones, like my cousin here. Sorry, I have to kill you. Why are you floating? Stop. Okay, acquired. Let us become a creeper. So we are now a creeper, and I'm not sure if I'm able to blow up or not. Let's see, in controls. Activate mob. Uh, use action, okay, done. V. Yep, I can blow up. This is cool. Okay, so I just kill stuff and I turn into it. And I'm not sure if this works with other mod mods. I know there's another morph mod that does, but that's way harder to install, so. Yeah. Um, and I will... So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see me do more mod reviews, since I've showed you guys how to install Forge, um, then please leave a like and subscribe, maybe even comment a little. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.